Hey, look who's here. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of health care. <laughs> look, they just, sneak, they just sneaked into the studio. It's uh, it's uh, Holly Menino from Channel 2 News. Hi, Holly. Hello. How are you guys? Good. And well, I should say. Well, and, yes. And uh, it's Nurse Danny, who we've met many times before. Uh, and this is uh, Baby, Your Baby. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, talk about it. <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about what you need to do to get your body ready. Women, what you need to do to get your body ready before you conceive. So Nurse Danny's here to, with some good tips. Before just, you can see. Yes. Before. Mm-hmm. It starts long before you get pregnant. So you shouldn't just let it happen and say, oh, wait, I'm pregnant. <laughs> right. You should cry. You're talking Planet. about family. That, that happens family too. Planning. But family. if you're doing some planning in advance, you might be a little bit more prepared. So planned parenthood. Okay. <laughs> All right. Exactly right. Yeah. 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 All right, Nurse Danny, what sort of things should you do to get your body ready? So like we said, not all pregnancies are planned. So all women of childbearing age should actually take a prenatal vitamin every day because um, they have folic acid in them, and that helps to prevent certain birth defects like spina bifida. Would it hurt me to take one every day? No. Oh, okay. I'll in fact, I know an OB who was 60 years old, and he told all of his patients, I've been taking one for 30 years wow. myself. So oh, okay. okay. So you hurt. could. Get yeah. Bill a prenatal vitamin. <laughs> I, yeah. can, I can buy my own. He <laughs> might start lactating. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a good idea, too, to make a preconception appointment with your doctor. That way, if you do have any mm-hmm. issues with your body, you can get those figured out before you do conceive a baby all right um that yeah. way you you're a little more prepared and yeah. know kind of what you're dealing with with your own body don't yeah. they say too you should space out your babies yes i'm glad you brought that how up do you space out a baby <laughs> 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 two and a half to three years from the birth of one to the birth of the next is ideal and we all know that here in utah they usually come closer than that but research has shown that it's best to do that for not only the mom's well-being but the baby that you're growing because you get depleted of everything toddler. yeah right for their emotional well-being, too. Yeah. So Cup. give it a rest is what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, take a little breather. Yeah. All right. Holly Menino, Channel 2 News, uh, uh, Nurse Danny. Uh, what about weight? That is really important. I work at a high-risk clinic right now, and the other day we were talking about how 75% of our patients are morbidly obese. And if we're a really? high-risk clinic then and we're seeing a lot of morbidly mm-hmm. obese patients, that means that it definitely increases your chances of risk, right? Mm-hmm. So. Um, it puts you at higher risk for um, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, your baby not growing well. So it's really important to get to a proper weight before you get pregnant. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you don't have any medical problems that need to be controlled before you conceive. Now, you know, on this list, I'm looking down at a list here, and obvious things like alcohol, right. booze, illegal mm-hmm. drugs, mm-hmm. Uh, and don't expose yourself to toxins. What do we do about our air pollution? Yeah. I know. That is rough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We have some of the worst air quality Mm -hmm. at different times of the year. So, I mean, I get this question a lot. The best thing that we can do is uh, if if a pregnant woman is concerned about it, just stay inside as much as possible during those really bad air days. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, be aware of any kind of harmful substances in your work environment or even at home, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if you're worried about radon in your home, get it tested. Or lead paint. Mm -hmm. Any of that. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually get a lot of questions about can I paint my nursery and stuff like that and that's fine as long as you do it in a well ventilated area all right so uh, baby or baby uh, I know is a big big push every year you kind of mm-hmm. really ramp it up and is it always this time of year we talk about this we do. it is usually spring yeah we do we come to see you but we yeah. talk about it all year long mm-hmm. yeah we do baby or baby stories throughout right. the year on KUTV um, so uh, what's the best place for people to go to find more information and I mean, prenatal information specifically. What's the best place to go? So we have all the information on our website. You can go to KUTV.com and click on Baby Your Baby, or you can go to BabyYourBaby.org. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Holly Menino and Nurse Danny, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.